hi guys welcome to my channel my name is salmi and if you are my retaining subscriber thank you so so much if it's your first time watching me please make sure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell and welcome to our family so today um i just thought i should come and um get you know me okay because when i started this youtube channel i didn't really take time to let you know who i am and i just thought it's um it's very important that you get to know a little bit of who i am that's why i have this video today just to let you know a little bit of who i am so i'll be answering questions about myself and I hope you will learn one or two things about me so the first thing is what is my name my first name is Salmi which means beautiful or a gift of God I and my second name is a tuna it's uh, in my language uh, that means God with us uh, my age I am in my 30s <laughs> I'm in my 30s you know ladies they don't like getting their age known but I am in my 30s okay and what inspired me to do YouTube what inspired me to do YouTube is that um, I love sharing information and I just thought it would be a good idea if I uh, start a YouTube channel so that uh, because I love making research so that I share all the information that I get when I do research and yeah and the other thing that um, inspired me to do YouTube is that uh, my English is not good <laughs> so I thought this would be an opportunity for me to, to get me talking and so that maybe i'll improve my english as i speak more often i'll need to um, improve my communication skills and my english my vocabulary and things so i thought this would be an opportunity for me to learn okay um don't mind i'll be looking more on this side because i have just made a list of some questions that i'll be asking myself and i'll be answering them okay so if you see me looking this side i'm just trying to read the questions i have about maybe 50 questions that i'm going to answer today so what would you change about yourself if you could um i could if i could change myself I will change the fact that I'm too emotional. I get too emotional and I'm a cry baby. I cry too much. <laughs> For those who know me, they know that I cry too much. Some of you, maybe you don't know, you think I'm a strong girl, but I cry too much. And I wish I could just change that. Okay? What really makes you angry? what makes me angry is um, i don't like people who create uh, who try to uh, um, to disgrace others for them to to it or to be favored or something you know what i mean yeah uh, what makes what motivates you to work hard? What motivates me to work hard is my children. Okay, when I look at my children, I want to make sure that I give them the best, and I want to give them the best that I have never been given. And they, they motivate me. They are the reasons why I work hard, guys. Um, what is your favorite book to read? My favorite book to read is uh, the Bible, okay? I love, I'm a person who doesn't like reading, but when I'm reading the Bible, it's, it, it gives me, I always want to read it because I, 
I want to know God more and it just every time I have to read I'm trying to find I want to know the mysteries of God and that's why I it's my favorite okay what makes you laugh the most what makes me laugh the most is uh, uh, I love at simplest jokes and yeah, I don't know. What did you want to be when you were small? Oh, guys, you can't believe what I wanted to be when I was small. Uh, <laughs> when I was small, there was these ladies at our village, and they used to sell in a mini shop, in a just a mini shop. Okay, and now when we used to. to to go to school and our school is just next to the shops the cooker shops now there was this lady who used to sell in a shop and she used to have money sometimes if she would give us like 50 cent or one dollar it was too much and so i used to tell myself that when i grow up when i finish my school i want to be a, uh, 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 to sell in a cooker shop <laughs> it's very funny just because I that women used to have money and used to buy for us sweets I thought it was the best life and I wanted to be like that okay so I wanted when I was small I wanted to be a seller in a cooker shop <laughs> uh, if you could choose to do anything for a day what would it be if I could choose to do anything for a day, uh, I think I would choose to worship. I love worship. I love worshiping. So I would worship the whole day. Um, would you rather ride a bike, ride a horse, or drive a car? I've been driving for quite long now, and I think I'm just... It doesn't uh, excite me anymore so i would rather ride a bike okay a horse i don't really like horses because the way they when you are on it it's it's always like this moving too much and i don't really like it so i would rather ride a bike uh, what two radio stations do you listen to in the car the most Mostly, when I'm in the car, I listen to local radio stations, which is Ego FM and Omlunga Radio, okay? If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, it would be green salad, but yeah, I love it so much, but it doesn't make me full. <laughs> I love eating green salad, but <laughs> I, when I eat it, I don't think I would eat it for the whole, for my whole life because it doesn't make me full. I don't feel full, and I love eating. When I eat a meal, I must eat until I'm full because when I when my stomach is empty, like I get sick. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had a nickname? What is it? Um, I wouldn't say it was a nickname, but it's my uh, my name that is translated to Finnish. Um, I used to call myself Handmaiden. Handmaiden is a translation of my name Etuna in Finnish. So that's what I uh, I used to call my name. It's, it used to be like my nickname and my my secondary school friends they, they used to call me by that nickname. Okay. Um, do you like or dislike surprises? Why or why not? I definitely love surprises because um, just the thought, okay, someone to think of me in my absence, just maybe getting something for me as a surprise. That alone is, uh, I love it so much. It's, it, it moves me, okay? Um, and I love surprises. I love surprises.
this is <laughs> oh my god um in the evening would you rather play a game visit a relative or watch a movie or read uh in the evening i would rather watch a movie but not really a movie i don't like movies but i would rather watch maybe uh, videos of learning videos i love learning so much and yeah i would do that who would you want to be stranded with on a deserted island definitely my husband <laughs> okay if you could go back in time what year would you travel to if i could go back in time i would travel to the year 1997 when i faced uh into the plane i flew to finland and that was the best experience and yet scary i was very scared of the plane just to say and i was crying so loud and it was yeah i still remember it like yesterday so i could travel to the year 1997 okay um how would your friend describe you? My friends... Uh, I don't know. They should come in the comments and tell me how how they should describe me. I don't really know. Uh, yeah. Maybe they should come. They watch out for the comments. They must come in to, uh, and tell me. <laughs> what is the best gift you have been given? I think the best gift I have been given are my children. Oh my God, my children are my best gifts. And I thank God for them. Uh, what is the worst gift you have received? Yeah, the worst gift I have ever received in my life is the gift of uh, Hey, how do I say it? I would say it was when I I trusted someone and I took care of them and they came and do the words to me. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Aside from necessities, what one thing could you not go a day without? of shoes do you own oh guys i have a lot of pair of shoes maybe 30 i don't know but yeah maybe 30 first um if you go back in time to change one thing what would it be uh, if i could go back in time to change one thing it could be bring my mom back to life guys I could bring my mom back to life. Um, if you could share a meal with four, with any four individuals, living or dead, who would they be? I would share a meal with my mom. my husband and my children <laughs> my children are counted as one so it's four okay uh, what was the longest you have gone without sleep and why okay longest gone without sleep oh it was when i was studying for exams guys 
I took um, energy drink. <laughs> you can't believe what happened. I was so frustrated. I was panicking. The exam was like the next day and I felt I was not prepared. So I took, I overdosed guys. I took an energy drink <laughs> and I took it too much and I got, I don't know if I got drunk or how I couldn't so I couldn't style, I couldn't sleep, I couldn't even do anything because it's, it's like I was drunk and I couldn't sleep the whole night and the next day I had to go and write exams so it was terrible and yeah. Would you rather trade intelligence for looks or looks for intelligence? Absolutely, looks for intelligence. I would rather be intelligent than looking good with no intelligence. Okay? How often do you buy clothes? Um, for myself, I don't really buy clothes for myself. Maybe once in three months. I usually buy most of the times for my children, but not really for myself. If you are a mother, you can <laughs> you can relate to this. Okay. Have you ever had a secret admirer? Uh, <laughs> I can't remember, guys. <laughs> I can't remember. Uh, uh, I can't. Maybe my husband, yeah, guys. Please. <laughs> what is your favorite holiday oh my favorite holiday was when i went to finland and i had to see the snow for the very first time in my life in uh, in 2007 guys i went for the holiday and it was the best holiday ever it was my favorite what is your favorite childhood memory uh, my favorite childhood memory was when we used to go to the conferences like school sunday conferences and i used to be like that celebrity <laughs> that everyone wanted to be like we were a group of girls, okay, from our Sunday school and we used to sing very nice and dance very nice and everyone wanted to be closer to us and those are the best memories that I can still remember from childhood, guys. Uh, um, how old were you when you learned Santa was in the real? How did you find out, guys? Growing up, I didn't even know these things of Santa things. I I grew up in the village. No TV, no okay radios, yeah. But where where would I have seen Santa Claus? It was when I came to find out about Santa Claus. I was already big, so I knew it was not real. Okay, guys, I'm a village girl. I didn't know about those things. Uh, I came to hear it from my children. I don't know. <laughs> what was the craziest thing you have done in the name of love? Like, seriously? The craziest thing I have done in the name of love? Guys, I used my my school fees money to buy gifts for a boy. But I, you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, Jesus! Yeah. What was your favorite subject in school? My 
my favorite subject in school was biology i loved biology because yeah it was my best subject it was my favorite subject okay what is the most unusual thing you have ever eaten oh guys the most unusual thing that I have ever eaten is I can't remember what it's called I went to Tanzania and they were eating something like it's like spinach but it's strange like when you are eating like this it's how do you how hey guys I can't I can't describe it it's it, it was very unusual to me and just Oh guys, <laughs> what is it called? You eat it with ugari, something, it stretches man, like if you take it like this, then it will stretch and you have to make like this, like this, and you put it in your mouth. Guys, it was unusual to me. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you ever had a surprise party? Yeah. I had a surprise party my friends made for me a um, baby shower in uh, my second baby and my third baby I think yeah just a surprise and I loved it so much guys I love surprises oh um are you related or distantly related to anyone famous? No, not that I know of. My family, <laughs> there are no famous people in my family. <laughs> Guys, no. Uh -uh. Who was your favorite teacher in school and why? Oh, guys, I told you my favorite subject was biology and obviously the my biology teacher was my favorite teacher i loved her because she was very young good looking and she used to dress very very nice and i loved it so much and i always wanted to be like her and i just loved loved her and uh, at some point she i wanted to be a teacher because of her Okay, guys, I loved her so much. She looked very young to me, like she was living with her own um, apartment with nice furniture, dress nice, and everything about her was just perfect to me. Um, what three things do you think of the most each day? Number one thing that I think of is the future of my children. I think about my life in Christ and my mom, guys. I think about my mom every day. Okay. Um, what I th uh, what song would you say best sums you up? Ooh, the best song that sums me up is uh, that song. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are guys i'm not a good singer but i love that song it's a it's a worship song but every time i listen to that song it gives me a it just it hurts my heart um what is the most interesting thing you can see out of your office or kitchen window Ooh! The most interesting thing that I can see out of my kitchen window is the sea. Sea. I love it so much. I love watching the sea. Every time I'm in my kitchen, I love looking at how the waves are. Hey, guys. 
<laughs> yeah. On a scale one to ten, how funny would you say you are? Um, I'm not really funny because I'm I'm a shy, I'm a bit shy, so I'm not funny. Yeah, I'm not very funny. <laughs> what was your first job? Ooh, my first job. Uh, electrician. I've been an electrician for some years now, for 10 years. And that is my first job. Okay, the job that I'm still doing. It's my first job. Who is the most intelligent person you know? The most intelligent person that I know is my husband. <laughs> Guys, my husband is very, very intelligent. And sometimes I just look at him and I'm just amazed of how intelligent he is. Guys, the guy is... Yeah. So, if you had to describe yourself as an animal, which one would it be? Like seriously, an animal could a bed be an animal? Yeah, it is. So I could describe myself as an eagle. <laughs> an eagle sees from far. Yeah. So I I can say that I have that. Uh, by the grace of God, God has given me that ability to see far like i i see things coming okay i yeah it's just it's just in me okay um what is the one thing you will never do again one thing that i'll never do again is trust strangers i would never trust strangers again i've been um betrayed i've been robbed i've been oh yeah you can you can name them and i just learned not to trust anyone not anyone who knows you the best who knows me the best i think So, thank you for watching. If you have watched this video up to the end, give yourself a lot of applause. <laughs> thank you so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell, like, and give me a nice comment. Tell me what you think, guys. And I love you so, so much. Until next time, bye-bye.